what's up with this squad back with another video i seen the title was going down make sure i hit the like button that subscribe button definitely um like 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 said past videos that we've been hitting on um this is something that honestly uh i feel like made a lot of people mad just for the simple fact of how bad and corrupt people can be um, i would say um it's more so of that you know, um, I feel like looking at the fact of even if you don't like Trump, I know it's a lot of people out there that just know what's wrong, you know, and know that is wrong. The, the, the decision that was made, the, the, the things that is happening, you know, so I want to check this video out, you know, um, and y'all are more than welcome to pause the video and let me know y'all thoughts down below. Let's get in the video, y'all. But we're going to start with the Fox News alert now. Nathan Wade stepping down from the Trump election case in Georgia after the judge rules that Fulton County DA Fannie Willis must cut ties with her special prosecutor or quit the case herself. In his exit letter, Wade says, quote, I am offering my resignation in the interests of democracy mm -hmm. in dedication to the American public and to move this case forward as quickly as possible. In the interest of democracy. Yeah. How amazing of He's him. He's a patriot. This comes after Willis was forced to take the stand over her relationship with Wade, which ended up overshadowing the Trump case and led to moments like this one. You're confused. You think I'm on trial. These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. Let me tell you which one you lied in. Right here. I think you lied right here. No, 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 no. This is the truth. Judge, and this it, it, it is a lie. So Fox News legal analyst Greg Jarrett joins us now. Greg, great to have you this morning. But you can see her whole demeanor, like, in, in court. You know, you can see her whole demeanor, her posture, the way that she's yelling, the way that her voice is cracking. You can tell when, you know, it's wrongdoing in this whole case. Morning. So from best eye and we yeah. can tell, uh, Judge McAfee attempted to sort of split the baby here, to do something that maybe wasn't politically controversial in Fulton County, but also punish Willis and Wade for the appearance of impropriety. What he said, and I wanted to ask you about, is he said, although it's clear their behavior was, um, was at best... Um, frowned upon uh, at worst much more he said it didn't impact the defendant uh, in this case Donald Trump and, and others due process rights yeah well he's wrong Will I mean this decision if you read it 23 pages it's illogical it's self-contradictory the judge found both Willis and Wade engaged in the same wrongful improper conduct that under law and ethics demands removal and yet he orders that only one of them has to leave the case. I mean, that makes no sense, obviously, because the appearance of impropriety remains and it infects the case and the defendant and his due process rights, which means I think this was a craven political ruling written by a Democrat judge who wasn't about to jeopardize his reelection in a few months. So he gratuitously tosses Willis this lifeline to keep the case against Trump going because if she's disqualified by the court, so is in her entire office. That's Georgia law. And that would effectively kill the charges against Trump because any sensible prosecutor, I think elsewhere, would take one look at this case, recognize that it's weak or non-existent on racketeering. And in fact, I wrote a column two months ago that this case is such a legal, ethical train wreck, the state attorney general should take it over for review, and I, I think that may be where it's headed. Mm. Yeah, that's so interesting. I, you know, I'm, I'm looking at her and all her dramatic moments. Um, not going to say very. Inter I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's very entertaining, um, and I can see why he doesn't want to upset black female voters, many of whom like the way she is performing on on the stand. Um, but. I guess the question I have is just where does this go in terms of the general public opinion about, you know, this being election interference, um, th the entire process uh, for Donald Trump, that they're trying to, you know, tie him up in these court cases. And I, I think it's kind of helping him make that case. Yeah, it, it's classic lawfare, yes. weaponizing the law for political purposes. 
And, you know, Willis seems to be popping champagne corks. Well, I think that's premature. This ruling further delays the prosecution. It may put it in jeopardy. And she may not survive professionally because a Georgia Senate investigation and a prosecutor's commission now armed with the judge's findings, a scathing rebuke of Willis's behavior. I mean, he called her unprofessional, said she may have been untruthful and dishonest. My goodness, that is a breach of duty. It's grounds for removal from office, not just a case. She undermined the public's trust. But Willis is also facing additional probes, misuse of public funds, other improprieties. Reportedly, employees are lining up to testify against her. Yeah, so I'll make this prediction. I think she'll try to diffuse all of this by announcing sometime soon that, oh, well, another prosecutor in the office will try the case. Well, that doesn't remove either her or the taint of a partisan DA who, as I say, mm. weaponized the law to bring a politically driven case to influence a presidential election. Hmm. Her moment in the spotlight, and it seems to all be caving in and the case with it, potentially, and all the cases, Greg, it feels like uh, across the board, uh, the courtroom's getting farther away, even though they, they, uh, they, they keep trying to bring in at Trump. Greg, thanks for your time. Right. Appreciate it. I'm Steve. I look at the simple fact of, like I said in the beginning of this video, we're looking at <clears throat> how it's helping Trump. Looking at the fact that, again, it's having that public trust. So not only in Fulton County, but just in the world in general. Um, I've seen so many comments. I've seen, um, and a lot of people say, "Oh, stay off TikTok and stay," you know. But you see so many YouTube shorts and so many TikToks of, you know, people saying like, "Dang, like they for real doing Trump like this. This is crazy. They doing, they really doing Trump like this, you know." And I see that, you know, it's 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 helping him in a way. Um, first of all, it's helping him tremendously because of so many people knowing how much this man is going through so to see somebody go through so much and then still uh, his numbers is all the way up here is 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 is, is, is for real history i'm telling y'all it's history I, I've, I've said it before it's history um in the making right now um and a lot of people don't recognize that um they don't see that but it is our job, you know, um, you know, it's plenty of YouTubers out here, you know, spreading that word that it's important to get this out. It's important to wake up people that isn't, you know, seeing what's going on, because I feel like this time in 2024, um, in the past years, people need to start taking stuff, you know, more seriously, you know, if who's in office and stuff like that, um, seeing what's going on now. I mean, uh, we talk about all the time, you know, I'm not simply talking about him, but I mean, look, look how he acts. Look, look who we got in office and look how he acts, you know, look, look what he does. So um, it's very important, you know, uh, to vote, to look at, you know, who who benefits you, who benefits your family and um, is the best for uh, for us Americans. But definitely make sure you have to like, but subscribe and make sure y'all also comment down below y'all thoughts um, and what y'all what y'all got to say. I, I, I love to see it, you know. Um, but you already know. Catch you on the next one.